Yo, what is up YouTube? It's me, Game God at the last boss fight in the new map, The Forsaken. Now, this is the easiest Easter egg, like fuck. I've been up to the boss fight a few times. But round 16 is the lowest I think I've been because I was lucky enough to get the Crystal Axe out of the box. Oh yeah, first spin on the box and I get the Crystal Axe. Then I didn't have to build it. But, I still had to do the shitty steps to build the Ethereum Neutralizer, which is shooting those annoying fucking orbs. It's fuck, they're hard to hit. Just to destroy the big crystal, to pick up the crystal shard, and I try not to tell my bogan friends there's crystal shard in this game, or else they're just going to be trying to fucking smoke it. They'll be buying copies of this game, handing it out. Oh, yeah, you want to smoke some crystal shard? Yeah, apparently there's some in this game. No, you don't smoke it. Feed it to the fucking abominations. So usually it took me up to round 35, and I'm going to be showing you the round 35 one. So here we go. As soon as you upgrade, you know, pack a punch, buy your perks, as soon as his door open, you shoot him in the shoulders because that's where his armor is. Get his armor all the way down. And yeah, he's like kind of like a boss in Borderlands, but his armor will not regenerate. Only during phases, so you don't have to worry, so you can take your time just to get his armor down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Once one shoulder breaks and he's a shoot the other. And um, it's good to use a crystal axe because it does so much damage. And yes, you can swap to another pack a punch gun. Oh, it does take longer. It depends, you know, what gun it is, I guess. The only thing I hate about the Crystal Axe is as soon as it runs out of ammo, you know, it automatically swaps you to another gun. Like, you know. But I wish it automatically just turns back into the axe, because you have to manually turn it back into the axe, kill zombies, pick up the crystals, then manually turn it back into the gun mode, then reload it, then use it. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, it's irritating. And when you're manually doing it, you end up getting downed or die anyway, you know? Which is fucking irritating as hell. So after you blow up both his shoulders, you know, destroy both his shoulders, it's time to, oh, help Samantha out. So you have to kill zombies underneath Samantha so she, you know, gets filled with her fear of energy so she can power up the cannons. Oh, look at that fucking disciple. They give me the drizzly shits they do. Oh, I hate them. They're so annoying. Take that, you cunt. Did they hit it? Yeah, I think I got it. There we go. So you got to take out the zombies directly underneath Samantha. But, oh, look at that. She moves away from me. And, oh, look, i got a millimeter to go. Oh, that's a little tiny inch. Here we go. Come on, Samantha. Yep, we're going to make sure you're directly underneath her. And, ah, oh, fucking mangler. Jesus, piss off. They're annoying too. But I'll pick manglers over disciples any day. Here we go, and she finally charges up the laser. And you can aim at his chest. I'm going to fire my laser! Boom! Right into his chest. And if you make a mistake, well, his health will instantly just fill up again. Because later on I do that. Like, I fuck up. Yeah, you'll see. And all you have to do is just repeat the step again and kill zombies underneath Samantha and just watch out because the boss during each time you take out a chunk of his health he'll start doing different attacks like different phases like now he's just putting like frost everywhere so just try not to get frozen oh there's a disciple fuck off they give me the shits they're so annoying here we go and Samantha will charge up the bloody laser gun again she's so nice isn't she here we go this was like okay where do I shoot is it back in the chest again? No, no, it's not there, not there. Oh no, it's not not the head. Where is it? Oh, it's the arm. You gotta shoot the arm, see? See, he kinda made a mistake, see his health fills up a bit. So now I have to repeat that step again. Fun, fun. Yeah, so basically it's like rinse and repeat. So I have to go run underneath Samantha and charge up the next cannon. Yeah. But this boss fight isn't bad though. At least they give you a big boss arena to run around in and all that. This is not like that annoying fucking one, like a now at a totem when you're stuck down the lab, but then you keep getting teleported to different locations. Even that was a tricky boss fight. And oh, even the fucking other one, Firebase Z, that was a bitch of a boss fight too. Here we go, shoot him right in the fucking arm, take him out. And after you do it, you get like a little phase, you know, central for the story. Here we go. Take me. Ah, 
This place is not safe. Whoa. Okay. Now you got to shoot him in the stomach or the balls or whatever you fucking like to call it. But now because of the different phase, he's see he's charging up a big electric orb. And he throws them and his electric orbs just go around all over the map, you know. There's one there. They don't do that much damage, but combined with zombies hitting you and fucking mimics and manglers and deciphers, they can down you, so just watch out. Lucky they're slow as fuck, so you can just outrun them. And I was lucky enough to get a nuke. There we go. Kaboom. Yeah. Cool. Now, mimics and all that can be annoying, like there. But, um, one thing I do like about mimics is... The fact that I'm about to go down by zombies, I got them all everywhere around me hitting me, I'm about to die and a mimic just pulls me out of the crowd. It's like, oh thanks, mimics have saved me so many times. And like, you know, even though they're annoying, I actually do like mimics though. They're actually pretty badass at times. So here we go. Charge, the cannon is charged, time to take out, shoot him right in the nuts. Take that you bastard. Whoa. Okay, and after that we're down to the last and final phase, which is we're going to take out his head. So, well, what the fuck was that jumping past? Was that one of those fucking pans of Sodat fuckers? Those Kransky fucking soldiers? Oh, here we go. So what I do is I kill zombies underneath Samantha to charge her up so she charges a cannon. Always keep a cannon charged because they can save your life. So when you're about to go down, jump on a fucking cannon. The zombies ignore you. And oh, there he is. Now the fucking ass. Now look at my health now. Look, I'm completely fucked. Look, I should be dead. I should actually be dead. Look at this shit. I should be dead. But oh no, 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 the cannon saved my life, so always keep a cannon charged, no matter what. Even during the phases, keep one charged. Because, yeah, they do save your fucking life. Now all I have to do is just take out his armor, and this is the annoying part. I think this part take, took for ages, because I keep running out of fucking ammo for this bloody, um, this wonder weapon, which is annoying as hell. Here we go, see? Um, and I keep running out of ammo for the crystal axe. So I've got to keep killing zombies until they drop ammo. Oh, there's some ammo right there. Let me just pick it up. Oh, uh, look, I'm fucked. Look, yeah, I went down. Ugh. And I rarely use Tombstone. I never hardly use it. I just use a self-revive. Tombstone's okay, but I just hate it when you come back in your Tombstone form and the enemies just kill you anyway. So what's the point of that? The only good thing about it is I think you can buy back your weapons. And the good thing about Mule Kick is you can buy back your third weapon that you lose and all that, so that's okay. But they're my least favourite fucking perks. See, I'm only getting like small amounts of ammo. And yes, I do have like a second gun and all that, but I think it's just going to do fuck all damage. At it's actually going to be uh, a lot faster actually for me to like kill enemies, wait for them to drop ammo for the Crystal Axe, use it to take out the boss, then just swap to my other gun, my second weapon, and use it on him. Oh, look at that. Look, I can demonstrate and show you. Is that's going to take longer? Here we go. See? So I think it's just faster just for me to wait to get ammo for the wonder weapon. Because it kicks ass. And as we wait for me to run around and defeat this boss. Let's talk about the calling cards. Like the ones in the prestige shop you can buy. Some of them are okay. But I think some of the best calling cards ever in COD history. All the ones I like, in my opinion. Are the ones in Infinite Warfare. Come on, they had like magic mushroom calling cards. They had like ecstasy pills. They had a sloth smoking a fucking bong. They even had fucking troll face as a calling card. They had some of the kick ass ones. I was hoping they're going to bring back some Infinite Warfare ones. But I guess not. Hopefully they do it in Call of Duty Vanguard then. I really like those calling cards. I thought they would kick ass. Come on, you have to agree. You know, troll face is a calling card. Who doesn't want that? Whoa. So now it's up to the part where I just have to survive and get that little bit of fucking armor down. So I'm just running laps and all that and watching out because I don't want to get my ass frozen off. He's just shooting blizzards at me left, right and center. Here we go. This should do it. This should fuck his armor up. Finally. Oh, God. Now I just have to like avoid everything and everyone trying to kill me. Look at that disciple. Fuck, they piss me off. Oh great. Now I just got to stand underneath Samantha and charge up um, the cannon. Here we go. I'm just running laps. Trying to avoid everything after me. You know how it is. Trying to survive. Here we go, finally. Here we go, take out that fucking tormentor. Oh look, look, look what he does. He shoots a fucking blizzard. The blizzard right underneath Samantha too. Isn't he a lovely boss? Look at this bastard. I don't even bother killing that fucking abomination. I just leave him, you know? And fuck you. Here we go. We've done it. Yeah, we done it. Defeated him. It's over. Dead. The end. Oh. 
and thank you for joining me during this fight and listen to me rant and rave and bullshit on. Yeah. And this part's like, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, what the hell? I'm dying. Oh, I think you're meant to die. Yeah, you're actually meant to go down. Yeah, you're actually meant to die. I, I don't know, like, if you can survive this part. I don't think you are. I think you're just meant to die. As soon as I go down, that's when Samantha kicks in. Here we go. And we completed it. And yeah, and thank you for watching and subscribe, you know? Thinking of doing, don't 